Well guys, we're back. It's a trip to the thrift. All right, so I'm keeping things pretty simple for today's video. All I need to do is go out to my local thrift stores and try to find 20 items that I can flip for a profit onto eBay. I'm off to the US on Sunday, so I'm trying to find a bunch of stock that my assistant Courtney can go ahead and list up while I'm away. Let's get into the first store. So my first find of the day was this big box of video games and there were some good ones in there, 2K14 Wrestling, that was going for about 22 and I found this one as well, The Last of Us, for about 25 but unfortunately the wrestling game didn't have the right disc in it, you've always got to be checking. Some more video games in the next stop shop and this uh, Call of Duty bundle was a good one, we've got Ghosts and Infinite Warfare. Some pretty good value in that one there. Now the DVDs, Sound Relief. This is a good one to be finding, guys. It was going for around about the $25 price point, which wasn't too bad, considering I picked it up for just the $4. So a pretty good start. Very surprising to see video games. In two first two thrift stores of the day, we've come out with three video games, which absolutely never happens, but a pretty good start with all of these. So four listings down, we need another 16. Let's get back into it. It is very rare for me to walk into a thrift store and not have a look at the shoe section. These ones here, the Solomons for $20. I almost went ahead and bought those, but in the end at 20 bucks, I left them behind. This was a big one though, guys. This is actually pretty massive. Put this on your bolo list. We've got gaming strategy guides. These are a bunch of hardcover books, really, really good condition. Some of them, as you can see here, are brand new. And the comps for all of these books were upwards of $30 to $50 a piece. This Tomb Raider book, brand new and sealed, it was $12. I actually got this for a little bit cheaper. Uh, the store owner was nice enough to give me a bit of a discount because I went ahead and bought all of these. Um, this one here, Dragon Age 2, the video game, I believe it is, the complete official collector's guide, a $32 international price point on that one there. This was a good one, Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls, uh, an awesome book here. Um, that one went through for about $40 as well. I think they had an $8 price tag on that one. And then this hardcover book, The Legend of Zelda, uh, strategy guide as well. That was going for about $50 as well. So all of them fantastic, but this one, this is the one, this is the one that has made my day. Dishonored. Massive international comps on this one, guys. $285. So in the end, we're talking about five to $600 worth of books here. I've only paid $53. So I was absolutely shocked. Unfortunately, no value in those ones. What a morning, guys. $53. And we've got seven books. 53 bucks, that was all we paid. And we've got Dishonored. Dishonored is worth $300. It's a beautiful game that we play. Another category I love to have a bit of a dig into, the hats. This Santa Cruz hat, nice pink color as well. It was a good one, but I put it back on the shelf. I dove back into the shoes and I had a look and well, I had some luck. These hokers, to be honest guys, I ummed and on these for about five minutes, only because of the soles. They're, they're a really good shoe. The Nike, or sorry, I should say the Hoka Clifton 7s, they go for about 80 to $90 if they're in great nick. But as you can see there, there's a little bit of wear on them. So I'm thinking about it. These ones here, we've got the Asics. Um, these are an awesome pair of shoes. If you can find these old school, style ASIC shoes. They go for some great money. I had to put these ones back though. As you can see there, the sole was uh, unfortunately just tearing away slightly. So condition very important obviously when it comes to any item that you're selling on eBay. So that one unfortunately didn't quite hit the mark. Uh, there's some shoes right at the back corner there that I'm just grabbing. Uh, these ones here, the Brooks Glycerin 18s. Really good pair of shoes, these guys, and in excellent condition. $10 price tag, turns into 50 Thanks very much. Uh, I ended up grabbing the Hokers, and then I also found these as a bit of a consolation prize. We've got the Predators for 50 So we've been out here for an hour now, and we've picked up 14 items. It's actually been a lot of fun. I've come out to these thrift stores so many times and found absolutely nothing. So to get a, a, bit, of a, a bit of a hot streak uh, and, and find 14 items in one hour, it really just brings back the fun and enjoyment of what I used to do. I used to come to all of these thrift stores around here every single Thursday. I did it for about three years, or maybe two years. Um, and it's just dried up. You don't get what you used to get. And um, it's just really nice to see some cool things pop into these op shops and I guess get your timing right, which is obviously everything. You really gotta be in there at the right time, the right place. That thrift store, that Lifeline shop that we were just in with those books, he, he literally at the checkout said that he put them out about 30 minutes ago. And that's really what it is. If you can get out during the week, 
I highly encourage you guys do that because getting out during the week stands you a really good chance to find these items. The weekends are really saturated. But if you can pop out on a Monday to Friday, maybe you've got some time off throughout the day with a, a job that you do, nine to five, maybe on a lunch break, that's the time to come in here and strike because I'm in here at 11 o'clock and we're having a killer morning. It is one of my favorite stores, this one, and this is the reason why. I'm always picking up good shoes in here. We've got the Asics Gel Lethal Ultimate FFs, and uh, yeah, look, about $60, $70. I sold them a number of times before, so to pick them up for item number 15 was very exciting. Um, these ones as well, look, I was almost gonna grab them. Haven't sold them too well in the past, and that's the reason why I actually left these ones behind. All the shoes in here are $15, so you really kind of have to pick and choose the best. Um, these ones, really good brand, Sacconi. Uh, I just could see some gluing. It looked like it had been almost re-glued there on the sole, and as good and new as they looked, I actually put them back, which, um, yeah, was, was frustrating. These ones here, the Asics Gel Kano 27s. It was just the sole, guys. When I flick them around, you'll see just a little bit of wear there. I'm very, very particular these days, and they weren't quite hitting the mark for me. Um, so we moved on. I jumped into the board games, and I saw this, which was Risk. And now, Risk has a lot of different variants. This is the Walking Dead version. Unfortunately, no comps, even at $6, to be able to go ahead and strike on that one. So I had to put that one back. Uh, I moved into the uh, DVDs and the video games, and it was all of these video games that I, I found. We've had a very good run of video game finds uh, in this video so far. Unfortunately, every single one of these just wasn't hitting the mark, and I had to leave them all behind. All right, so this next one is one that I actually typically pass on. I drive by it all the time. It's only a little small one, but today, considering we're having a pretty good run, I feel like any store that we go in is going to strike something for us. So I'm going to give this one a go. Wish me luck, we'll see how we go. I'm a big believer in going with your gut, and it was certainly a worthwhile journey into this op shop. These ones here, the Nike Metcons, actually left them behind. They've been a really slow seller for me over the last couple of months, so I'm not buying them anymore. These ones, though, a really good pair of shoes, the Nike Air Max 90s. You can get upwards of $80 to $100 for these. These, in the condition that they're in, I reckon we can get about $60. A fantastic purchase for just the $10. Bucks. Now, this one here, guys, put it on your bowler list. For those that are in Australia, this is a big, freezed fundraiser beanie. Uh, cute little dog here as well. Uh, the beanies turn into about $25, so well worth the grab. And this Lucky 7 hat, brand new with tags for $6. Bucks. Couldn't say no. I really hope you guys are getting some motivation out of these thrift videos. I mean, there's so much potential out there, even still, just as we've seen so far today there's just amazing finds a lot of profit and it'd be really cool if you guys can take this as a bit of inspiration and go out and tackle your own reselling business start listing up some of your own items find some really cool items out in the thrift yourself it's all about putting in that consistent work when you do get back home this is the fun stuff but what you don't see are the hours and hours of time that we spend listing items up and then shipping items off every single day but it does come down to the items that you source and that's why I do make these videos because it is a crucial aspect. Plus I just simply enjoy doing it and filming it. But I just hope that you're getting motivated to give it a try yourself because you've got absolutely every potential to make exactly what I'm doing out here. A bunch of money on thrifted items, pre-owned items that we're flipping for a profit on eBay. All right, we're chasing two more winners, and I've got one right here. Mork and Mindy, season one to three, four bucks a piece, 12 into $40. I like those numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Try to find your TV show season box sets. They always do well. These do well as well, guys. We've got the Nike Mercurial Vapor 14 footy boots. I should get about 60 for these, paying the $15 yet again. Seems to be a pretty standard price point for shoes here on the Gold Coast. Uh, the final DVD store, I jumped into this one here. Prime Suspect, this is season one to five but it was 50% off day on the DVD. So I'm only paying a dollar, should convert into 25 bucks. And I found the Sweeney as well. This is only one season, shows how good of a show it is. Sells for about $30 for just the one season. A big bolo uh, for you guys to be finding. Just pay the dollar for that as well. So there you go guys, 21 listings for Courtney to go ahead and list up today. If you missed this video right here, it was another trip to the thrift. Thanks for being here guys. Remember to subscribe. We'll see you soon.